So, this is a video that I feel like is important. It's kind of the technical breakdown of the car and useful information from a builder, not a RC reviewer, if that makes any sense. And no disrespect saying that there's a difference. Anyways, <clears throat> just gonna show a couple things that are pretty important about the car. Things that n not everybody has discussed, uh, I'll say. Uh, information like space and battery sizes and options that you have. So, first things first, this is the carbon fiber edition. So it comes with the 36 millimeter or the 36 series motor mount. You're gonna get a fan with it now. Mine has already been modified with a Hobby Wing Max 10 80 amp ESC censored system and a easy run 3300 kV censored motor matching. Uh, it's a 3652, two millimeters longer than stock. That two millimeters doesn't make a difference. But the RPM that you get from it is really nice. Censored system is really nice. Uh, the ability to tune your brakes is really nice. You, unfortunately, the stock ESC that comes in this is not tunable. So you're stuck with those brakes that like, uh, yeah, you're going to get super hard nose dives. You might get some endos. You might get some front flips on some, uh, maybe some of that nice white concrete or that rough tarmac something that you're not really sliding on. Uh, not entirely sure what size pinion it is stock, but I did keep it stock. I didn't gear up. I went with the higher KV instead. <clears throat> so this, uh, the servo, factory servo, it is not your standard one tenth servo size. It's it's more like a one twelve servo. They classify them as mini servos, not to be confused with the micro servos that you would find in something like a SCX twenty four or an eighteen scale car. I've had no issues with the transmitter or receiver, knock on wood. Uh, I actually like it. I'm not going to go into that whole thing in this video because uh, just no. It, it's a pain in the ass to deal with setting up the binding and everything for the gyro. So scale builders has a great video about that. You need that information, go ahead and check out his video. So, I, I'm showing you aftermarket setup in here, but I will show you the factory electronics also. So this is gonna be where the original ESC mount is right where the battery pack sits and you get this nice 2200 milliamp hour 3S. Uh, it comes with XT 60s. Don't mind my EC 5s. I prefer EC 5s. Everything I have EC 5. I like the, the connection of that five mil bullet. Anyways, so yeah, obviously, fits perfectly.
fits perfectly. So you see it's a little skinnier and it sits a little deeper in the battery tray than ever. CNHL Black Series 4200 milliamp shorty 3S pack. That's actually next to it's right next to the stock one. See it's a little bit fatter in that way and it is fatter as far as height goes. And it fits right there. So it's a little bit on the the guard right here. But it, it still fits perfectly fine. It straps down. It stays down. It doesn't buck out of the car if you're doing flips and hard landings on the roof. Golden. Beautiful, beautiful 3S option. Right? Now, let's say you gear it up. You're still bashing it and everything. But you decide that you want to run a 2S instead of a 3S. Even 3S or even 2S stock gearing and everything, it it's fun. It, it's a fun car. Bam! These CNHL parallel 2S packs are amazing. 6,200 milliamps. Look at that guy. Again, yeah, it is a little bit wider. It is a fair bit taller with that 90C rating, but it fits. It fits. It's in there. It is in there. Bam. Great, great 2S setup right there for bashing. So, uh, if you decide that you don't want to go the route of switching over to the longer battery tray and moving the ESC over here, which is a whole other thing, <coughs> then options. 2S and 3S shorty lipos up to a hundred millimeters. So tray get you about right there. So, yeah, right there. So you could fit something, maybe even like Mm, no, nah, I'd say 100 is where you want to stop at. Because you got to remember this guard edge right here. ESC, ESC placement. I don't know if you can see my skirt is a little bit pulled out because of the ESC is hair fatter. Just a hair fatter. If you have a, uh, a uh, quick run... 10 BL120 G2. It's roughly the same size of this ESC. So you you may have that little bulge. This is the factory ESC. 60 amp. Non-censored, non-adjustable. I, I, I'm going to kick myself in the ass if somebody ends up figuring out, yeah, it's adjustable. You just don't know what you're doing. So the brakes on this thing are atrocious. You 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 stab it and it is just anyways. So it's a good it's actually a really nice ESC. I, I ran maybe six packs through this before I did the electronic swap. It's got a fan on it. The button. That's not the button. That's the button. And it has this yellow wire that connects to 
the it says gyro side on the receiver so it was like a channel three so that's that guy motor this is the factory original motor 3650 60 2650 kv pardon me and it is a pretty nice motor I only did the swap because I I wanted more adjustment. I got turbo timing and stuff like that too. That's kind of nice. So this would go just like that. And if you see, it's just a little bit shorter than that hobby wing. Just a little bit. That gap for the hobby wing is like non-existent. So, Rolarlo also offers a aftermarket servo mount. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to bolt this guy down just like stock. And open up all this space right here. Because... Here's another thing. All right, so right there we got that 52 mil right there, 52.8. And from there to that lid right there, that lip right there, right there. 54 so you got that doesn't even look like I'm like two mils in person then from there it opens up with that servo mount that I was just talking about that's uh, give me a second Right about there. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah, like right about there. You got motor spacing for a 74 mil, right? But you're gonna have like no clearance between the servo mount and the motor. That's that's it. Um, the dips, not the dips, having a stupid moment, sorry, the pinion stock is slid almost to the closest point to the differential, so you have tons and tons of gear spacing. <clears throat> Let's just pop this guy off really fast. Man, this guy makes videos about unscrewing. Okay. That is the baby gear. Ain't it beautiful? So cute. So you got some good space for gearing there, right? I, I, I'm gonna. I think it's like a 22 or a 24 tooth stock. It comes with speed gearing. I think that's like a 28. I could be wrong about that too. Just look at your manual when you get your truck. Or just grab the gears and just read them. That's going to be your center differential right there. Uh, from what I felt, I really feel like it's too thin for what it is. You find 
a lot of the time the front wheels are going crazy ballooning i recommend doing a 500k in the center that's just my personal preference that's kind of general basher personal preference too uh i haven't really gone through the diffs front and rear as far as popping them open but they do feel really good if i was to redo them i'd probably use like a 30k being that this is a basher if it was something more like a uh <clears throat> like a speed run rig i would use uh like 500 in the front maybe like 100 in the back uh Rolalo is also going to be offering, or they do offer, they just haven't shipped mine, uh, 40 series motor mounts for this little guy. This is already a lot for how small it is. I do have that motor mount coming. I do have the 17 mil hex conversion coming. This truck is eventually going to get built. It is going to get a 40 series motor. I might do a little bit of a build video on that. This system is just temporary. I'm going to touch on this. This is pretty much the weakest link that I found on the entire truck. I haven't had the issue in the front. I had the issue in the back. These standoffs. I also touched up on this in a past video that I did. These are screws. They bend. It's okay. Literally, it's fine. You you unbolt this guy right here. You unscrew this guy right here. You pop a new straight screw in here. You have a straight standoff. They're just 30 or they're just M3 screws made out of a cheap metal. Cost cutting? Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, Rolalo also offers, I believe, their tool steel standoffs. Can't remember exactly what the price was, but you could go on Amazon, look up titanium m3 screws just get the right size pop them in here fixed titanium done titanium won't break perfect um yeah the wheelie bar does wheelie bar stuff it kind of gets in the way when you're trying to do uh like a self-writing that's okay the light is cool orange it lights up orange the shocks I had to adjust I, I maxed out the rear so that I can eliminate the droop that's in the back because I'm, I haven't seen it with the uh, with the metal version or the aluminum version <clears throat> this being the carbon one but this one has more weight in the rear because the bigger motor, it squats. If you have your truck and you look at it, you just throw it down on the floor. You look at it real good. The, the ass is on the ground. Might be exaggerated, but it is. So I maxed these out just so that I could kill that squat. That also probably killed some of my wheelies now that I think about it. That and that center diff. Uh, the metal drive shafts are really, really good. Front and rear, they're perfect. I know this is a lot of tech talk, but this is, this is somebody that they build cars, okay? So anyways... Shock towers are beautiful, 7075 aluminum. Carbon fiber braces. 
the name of this thing is it's kind of deceiving because it's the carbon fiber version or addition however you want to put it and uh bes besides that and these uh these arm plates that's all the carbon fiber you get you get the bigger motor that's a big deal because with the smaller motor version you cannot go to a 36 mi uh, millimeter diameter motor without switching the motor mount itself out they also offer metal diff housings for the front rear and the center they offer a spool that's going to be pretty sick when that comes out uh, i'm not going to throw any names out but there's a possibility that somebody might pull a sneaky sneaky and build one that goes pretty fast and it's probably not even me but everything else is pretty solid on this thing i have no gripes about it i haven't had any complaints uh my last time out it ended 15 minutes into it with me driving and it only ended because my pinion came loose there's maybe six to seven lipos ran through this thing already and it's stood up pretty well besides that so i hope this was helpful and i didn't just waste 20 minutes of my life trying to explain something to you and trying to help Beauty shot. Bam.